work on the motor for the little red. So we tried both of the stage four cams, the extra valve clearance, piston to valve clearance cam. It don't clear flat tops in a 5.3, maybe in the L92, the LY6, one of those with factory valve release, but it don't clear in an L33. Um, we tried the stage four turbo cam. It hits two, just not nearly as bad as the other one. So we ended up notching all the pistons with uh, the Lindy fly cutting tool, which I think it's in the right here. Dave Lindy out of Illinois, I want to say, super nice old timer. He got me valve cutting tools that go in head. I probably got pieces of a video for that somewhere too. So we did the intake valves, 50 thousandths, and the exhaust valves, 100 thousandths. It's pretty easy to do. Um, anyway, I wanted studs for this freaking thing because if you keep running you know, steel bolts and doing aluminum block, you rip the threads out of the block. But freaking ARP can't figure out how to get their asses to work. So the studs are back ordered until the middle of July. Uh, Dart's doing the same crap in Michigan. Blocks are 16 weeks backed up. I don't know what y'all's problem is. I've been at work every day. It's pretty disgusting when I can get studs from China next day, but I can't get studs from California for three months. Figure your crap out. Freaking morons. So anyway, sure enough, since I couldn't get studs from ARP, thanks you jackasses, um, I tried to put the heads back on with the bolts, got the driver's side head on just fine, tried to torque the first bolt on the passenger side to 70 pounds and pull the threads out of the block. Just like I figured was going to happen eventually. So, uh, nothing but problems with this. I did order a 441 stroker kit because I wanted to go stroker. So I ordered two separate dart blocks. Both were supposed to be in stock. It dropped $5,000 and neither one of them were in stock. So I had to get refunds because they're both 16 weeks back order. If you want a aluminum block, well, that's six months. You really have uh, stroker kits are back ordered for six weeks. Good job, y'all. <clears throat> so L33 it is. Um, oh yeah, I'm tired. What was that? Oh, we're repairing the block. So the kit is $400. That's still cheaper than a new engine. Here's what we got. <clears throat> you keep giving me looks. Why? I'm just telling the truth. Somebody ain't got their ass at work. So NS300L. That's where I got these from. Also oh, from, I think Indiana or Illinois. I know Lindy's in Illinois. Yeah. Surprisingly, I'm... USPS actually got these to me on time, which is a miracle in and of itself. So here's the pieces for it. Here's your inserts. Okay. These go into the block. You thread them in with this. Or if you've got studs, I'll show you what to do for that. So it comes with two taps. Uh, this one is the finishing tap. We're not even using this one because these don't thread all the way in when you're using studs, which is what we're doing. It comes with a three. What does that do? This one. That's what you're gonna thread it with. Now, if you're using bolts, you'd finish. You'd finish it with this one because it cuts deeper. So this clamps to the deck and one of the bolt holes. Okay, and you've got two inserts, one's for your drill bit for a guide, the other one's for the tap as a guide. Okay, we'll do that right now, and then we're missing a third part. Bravo. What you doing? <laughs> you think this is funny. Don't be laughing. Uh, you didn't bring a freaking insert. Man. <laughs> First, you start with the drill bit insert. This is the guide right here. Oh, shoot stick. All right, so we're going to do it down into one of the head bolts, and then you put your drill bit insert in here. Do the hokey pokey, find the hole your guide the pressure on that while you snug the head bolt for your drill bit guide I'm just gonna hit it with the zip gun and about 25 foot pounds ready pull that dude out oh 
Oh, not for the drill, man. So we got the bit buried a couple inches. You can take the guide out now. You will feel when you bottom out in the hole. Okay, so with the drill bit they supplied me, you got about, uh, what's that, three eighths of an inch between the deck and the top of the channel for the drill bit. But you can also see down in there that you're, uh, you're done. Good flashlight. Oh, flashlights, flashlights. You see? Not really. I can see it. Go. Okay. So, next, you'll get the jig and put it back on it, which we use the bigger insert for the tap. Hopefully you've got a 7 16 12 point or a tap handle big enough for that. I don't, so it's a 7 16 12 point. You don't need to see all this, so we'll pause it. We'll come back when it's done. I'll show you again in a minute, but to set the depth on your inserts, instead of trying to do a bunch of funky math like I tried to do because I'm exhausted, all you got to do is, and red thread lock on it, awesome. That's going to end well. Throw the insert on the end of the stud, run it down into the hole. Don't forget to put some um, your thread lock down in the hole on the threads. These are seated from the deck to the top of the insert, um, 710 thousandths. So all you got to do is run them in and then give them another half a turn if you uh, don't do like me and leave them in there for too long and the red thread lock already sets up. Hopefully that makes sense. All right, it's tapped all the way. Uh, blow it out, clean it out, ain't that nasty?
unless you can clean it baby. <laughs> Flashlight, please. If I can get it, kinda. Can I sort them? Oh, there we go. Okay. Throw your little glob of your red thread lock down in yonder. That's about inch down on this one. And then snag an insert. Snag an insert, run it up on the stud. I should go a little more than that, couldn't we? Okay, anyway. I'm going to do it all the way in, let it set about 10 minutes or so, and pull the stud out and give it at least another half a turn so you can get that insert down below the shoulder of the stud. So all the inserts are in. It took about three hours. It's set for about six hours. So we'll try to get this thing put together and uh, get it on the road today.